Hi, you folks. Today we're gonna to be using an air fryer and we're gonna be cooking a really tasty thing which is gonna be very, very low carb. What are we doing, baby? Low carb Big Macs. Low carb Big Macs. Or a Big Tasty. Or a Big Tasty. But what's no. the main difference, Sharon? No bread. No bread whatsoever. We're gonna be doing it protein style. Right, now you can get your burgers from wherever you want. We've got big half pound burgers, which we've got from our butchers. We prefer them from the local butchers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, these, are, these are made in the shop. They're about a pound each. Yeah, so 90 to a pound, 90 pence to a pound each, yeah. you get a good quality burger. Anyway, let's have a look at the ingredients, what we got. Here are the ingredients to our protein style burgers. We chose half pounder beef burgers from our local butcher. We are using back bacon but you could use streaky bacon too. Some thickly sliced raw onions, some large lettuce leaves, a cheese of your choice, our homemade McDonald's replica burger sauce, some pickled gherkins and sliced green jalapenos. Right, so strictly speaking, it's not really a Big Mac, but because we're going to be changing it up a little bit. We have made the burger sauce, which we have, if you want to learn how to do that, go over to our Big Mac video yeah. where we go through and we create the actual Big Mac sauce and it's absolutely fantastic. We're not going to show you that in this video, but we have made that for these yeah. burgers. There's no we, I. So we, eh? There's no we in it. We've made There's it. There's no I in I've team. Made it. I've made I'll, I'll watch you make it. How about that? But you do that, see? What's a one handed job, He does show? that side of the camera, does all the editing and things I like do. that. So I do this side. 60 40, straight down the middle, Sharon. Anyway. To me. What's the first thing we do, baby? <laughs> Well, we're adding bacon to these as well, folks. Yeah, that makes it a big tasty, doesn't it? Because they put bacon, yeah. yeah. Right, so what are we doing first then? We're going to put the burgers in. Right, let's get them over to the Ninja. We're going to be using the Ninja today, folks. Let's get the burgers on and uh, we'll start everything else after that. Right, so here's our burgers, folks. Can you see how thick they are? Look at them, look. Absolutely lovely. They are a good half pound burger, them, Sharon, aren't they? They're an inch thick, aren't they? Yeah. Right, a good half inch Good thick. half inch thick they are. So we're going to whack them. We're going to use both trays of the uh, Ninja here, folks. So we're just going to get in there. So big, you can only get really two in one yeah. compartment. Look, that's not a problem here because uh, we've got more than one air fryer shower, haven't we? Yeah, but we're going to pretend we've only got this one today. We're yeah. going to do what you do at home. Because these ain't going to take very long to cook at all, no. are they? Right, so that's four of them in there. I'm going to wash my hands now. If you yep. go and stick that in, because I don't I'll want stick to them in. You've got to contaminate wash your hands, the handles, baby. which I've been told off for before. Of course you have. Let's whack them drawers back in there. Right, baby, what am I putting these on for? Do 200, Two hundred. Two hundred for ten minutes. Yeah. Right, so let's turn on our Ninja. This is the AF400, folks. Because I've got two drawers going here, I'm going to press the match function. And that means I'm going to put them on air fry. The time I'm going to take down to... We're going to leave it on 200 degrees, and I'm going to take the time down to ten minutes. There we go, press the middle button. I'm turning halfway. That's the cooking now started, folks. And as Sharon said, five minutes, I'll take the drawer and flip them over and cook them the other side. Right, so that's that, baby. Right, We've also got the bacon to do, haven't we? Bacon doesn't take long, as you know. So we'll put the bacon in nearer the end, folks. As I say, it literally takes probably about six minutes or so. This is the this is the lettuce we're using, folks. It's, what's it called, Sharon? Hearts of Romaine. Hearts of Romaine. You can use an iceberg, you can use what you want. So uh, Look for nice big leaves, yeah. and you can sort of crisscross and wrap your burger in like a little parcel. Yeah, that's basically what you're doing. Yeah. It's not an unusual concept because it's like wrapping mints in leaves like the Greeks do with a, in yeah. a Greek Yeah, vine leaves, Greek isn't it? Vine, vine, vine leaves, vine leaves yeah. Leave, I suppose, yeah. So right, you're just going to pull a few leaves off. Yep. And the good thing is with that folded over, hopefully there'll be no spinach down the top. <laughs> so get a good few leaves, folks. Don't forget, this won't hurt you. And because uh, uh, Jimmy and Charlotte are having them, shall we're doing them They're in, having buns. in buns, aren't they? So. Yeah. Uh, we will show you them as well, folks, but uh, yeah. anyway. So here's our onions. Now, you're going to keep them raw, Sharon? Oh, yeah, you've got to have that taste of the raw It's onion. a matter of choice, folks. If you yeah. want to cook your onions, by all means do that. But um, sometimes we like a nice thick cut raw onion because so this gonna is going to be really these. nice and crunchy. So Sharon's going to wash the leaves. So Sharon's just putting them on some kitchen roll again, just to dry them out a bit, folks. And as I said, we're going for normal, what's this called, this type of bacon? Back bacon. Back bacon, normal back bacon. If you like streaky bacon, use streaky bacon in, instead. And we've also got these um, cheesy, not proper cheese I know, but um, it's only because we've got these in the fridge and we might as well use them up because we're doing a burger. If not, just cut some nice bits of cheddar as well. And what you could do as well also, you can either put them on the top of them once they've been cooked, put them back in the air fryer so that all melts. 
It's entirely up to you. We think there'll be enough heat in the burger show, don't we, to melt they these? They usually do melt. Yeah, they usually do melt. So that's what we got there, folks. Oh, hello. I can hear a phone going, Sharon. It's mine, it's in there. Okay, folks, halfway through the cooking, I've actually taken the four, bur uh, the other two burgers out. Now they've shrunk up a bit, they're able to go into one of the uh, baskets there. So that gives me the opportunity to put the bacon in now and also that other burger. So if we just whack that other burger in, baby. We'd flatten them. Yeah, normally we'd flatten them as well, folks, wouldn't we? Yeah. Call it a smash burger then, Sha. So if you, because you've got the uh, hands at the moment, Sha, can you put the bur bur uh, bacon in there? Just light in there. We do tend to move it about and overlap it, folks. It doesn't matter because um, it will cook when we, when, we, when we move it about a bit. So we're not too worried about mounding it up. Although you do need to turn it over, that's all we're saying. Okay, in we go. So we'll put that one back on for five minutes, number one. There we go, we'll start that one off. And number two, We'll put that on air fry and just take that down to uh, 10 minutes and start that one off as well. There we go. Leave that for a minute. So that's all prepared there. We're just doing uh, Jimmy and Charlotte's as well. They're going to have the burger sauce on there and also cheese and onion as well. So Sharon's just putting that on now. This is the burger sauce, folks. This, I'll tell you, Sharon, it's just like a McDonald's sauce, isn't it? It is. You've got to make that, folks, you've got to make that. So just spread that on one side of the bun. Put plenty on, folks. There we go, look at that. That turns it into a lovely tasting burger shell without the sugar content like you get in the McDonald's yeah, one, Yeah, we, we omitted the sugar from this recipe, Yeah, totally. We? Everyone else who's done a, a, a McDonald's sauce replica sauce has put the sugar in. But we've left it out, and, and Mr. you. Mr. Lee Van Can still goes on about it. He says this is the best burger he'd ever had. So there you there go. There you go. In with the onion. There we go, folks. Just lay it all together. We're big onion fans. And you've also got the uh, cheese to go on the top yeah. of that as well, aren't you, baby? These ain't our ones. Don't forget, folks. These are the uh, just the normal ones. The if, children. If you're not on a low carb diet. Yeah, as I say, we're just using this processed cheese, but uh, you put on what you want. Normally, we'd be putting cheddar on there. A lovely mature cheddar, Sharon, eh? Oh, yeah. So she's just gonna whack that on the lid. Or well, put it on the bottom, it don't matter, does it? I was gonna put it on the lid so it melted on the top. Yeah, that's right, yeah. when it's sliding about. Of course you don't. You've got more control then, haven't yep. you? Yeah. And don't forget, burgers, aren't really that bad for you. Protein, folks, and fat are actually your friends. It's the carbs that have made you fat over the years. The processed carbs, just cut them out, that's all you gotta do. Okay, folks, we've been preparing, so Sharon's just gonna put a bit of sauce now. We've got our lettuce leaves on the plate there, as you can see, and the cheese is on the bottom, you the, the onion. Yeah, put, put mine on there, baby, I'll have a little bit on top as well. Spread it out a bit, I like it. Not all in one dollop. That's fantastic, lovely. How about that? So we put that little bit there, folks, if you want on the top. And as you know, we've got our dill pickles there, our gherkin drive, and our jalapenos. So we've got Jimmy and Charlotte's over here. Don't forget salt and pepper. Don't forget the season, folks. And is our four, bur four, four burgers. As you can see, they're lovely and cooked there. So let's put Jimmy and Charlotte's on first. What we should have done, folks, which we didn't think of because we were filming, we should have flattened them out a bit, like I told you in the last burger video, in the Big Mac video. There is one flattened that they can add, isn't there? Hey? There is one flat one that can go in one. Yeah. Do you want to do theirs first then and get them out of the way? Give us out of a flat one, because they're bigger buns, aren't they? They'd be easy for us to wrap. Yeah. Oh, look at that, folks. There's the bacon and that other burger all ready to go. Right, is that going to be too hot for you? Hot fingers. Oh, lovely. Now, who had the... Um, who had the jalapeno, bacon? That's Jimmy. Charlotte is having the bacon. Right, so Charlotte can have her burger on now, can't she? This is again is the. Uh, that's what I say. If you would have flattened that burger out, folks, it would have filled the bun up a lot more because these are actually quite big buns, Sharon, aren't they? They are. Not that they're, they're for me and Sharon, but uh, there you go. Right, do you want to put her bacon on then? There we go. Crisped up nicely, that folks. So again, a bit of bacon on there. Oh, she's having two bits, is she? That's quite a tall burger. Give it a good press down, that's it. 
So that's the two burgers there, folks. Right, there we go, folks. Don't forget, always give your chips a good shake in the air fryer. These were oven chips already. Uh, what are they? Oven chips. Yeah, oven just chips. oven chips, yeah. There we go. So that's theirs. They can come out and do their stuff with theirs. I'm coming over to mine and Sharon's burgers now. I think I'll have mine next to each other, Sharon. Because I've got two that's in mine. That's mine, I saw one. Oh, sorry, go on. Yeah. Put... There we go. Just like that. Oh, that's hot. Right, so are you having the uh, another bit of cheese on top? No. I'll have a bit of cheese on top, baby. I don't know how I'm going to wrap that now, the size of that. No, you ain't got to wrap it, Shell. That's fine. You're having it open. I'll deal with that. In fact, if you cut that down the middle... We should maybe... I'll put that there. Yeah. Then move that along there. Then we'll do the I'll leave it like that. there. Yeah, that's fine. Then you've got an open burger, haven't you? Of course you? I have. I could eat that with a knife and fork, can't I? Superb, there we go. So I'm having an open burger with my one, folks, only because I'm greedy and I've put the two on there. Oh, lovely, that do. Right, so I've got two. I'll eat that with a knife and fork. And on with the old uh, pickles, on with the jalapenos. Sharon's just having the uh, jalapenos and all one. And I'm going for the bacon with mine. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Of course you have. There we go, folks. So let's take a closer look at them now. Well, folks, they look absolutely delicious. Sharon's putting extra onions on hers, which is a great thing to do. She's going to be covering hers with the lettuce. I'd like to see you go first, baby. She's folding all the lettuce leaf up around it, folks. Go on, go in, Sharon. Yeah, yeah, take control, take control of it. You're the daddy. Well, you're the mummy, actually, but... Well? I want two. You want two? Is it that good, is it? It is. It does depend on your burgers, folks. I'll tell you what, where's that knife? Do you know what, I don't want to eat it as a closed burger. I'm going to cut that down the middle, folks. Them lettuce leaves there. And lucky enough, we did prepare some more. Shall, help me out. <laughs> no, I've got to go in, Shall. I've got to go in. Let's have a look. This is protein style, folks. Oh, look at that. Look at that sauce oozing out, Shall. Can I go in? You can go. Don't, don't go, don't go. Stay where you are in case I fall over. Oh. Oh. Oh, Sharon. You don't miss the bread, folks. You don't. It's rather messy. Oh, God, that's fantastic. It's not my fault. You know, don't you? I'll tell you what, folks. Give it a go. They are fantastic. They are. All the little bits coming together. The thing that brings it all together that sauce. is that sauce. That sauce is absolutely fantastic. And when we finish these, bearing in mind we haven't put no sugar in that sauce, we've got bacon, we've got cheese, we've got lettuce, we've got onions, we've got jalapenos, we've got no carbs. That might look good, folks, and it probably is good. But, good. if you're on a low carb, no carb diet because you're losing weight and you want to lose weight and you want to get into ketosis and start body of burning, burning your body fat, you can't be putting carbs in your body. But when you're eating food like this, it don't really matter. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that one. We're going to go now and enjoy these because they're I've fantastic. Eh? I've enjoyed it. I really recommend these. And I guarantee that she's going to want half of that other one I've got here. Anyway, thanks very much, folks, and I'll give you half of it as well, baby. I know you would. We'll see you in the next video. Don't forget, have a binge watch of our other videos. We're doing quite a lot of low carb stuff now. And we've also got a backlog of many other normal food videos as well. So do check them out. Don't forget to join us on Sunday at 8 p.m. where we do our weekly vlog, where you can see what we get up to during the week. Maybe cooking, maybe other stuff. Who knows, that's the sort of people we are. Just come along and join us. And there's a live chat box there where you can chat with us as well. Anyway, thanks very much. We'll see you in the next video. I've got to cut that in half now, haven't I? Like and subscribe and share, people. I've got to give her half of that. No, I knew you that would happen. You eat it, you're alright. No, I'm not. I couldn't do it, Sharon. <laughs>